Time for baseball now on a Wednesday night in the windy city of Chicago. Tonight, the second of three to start the week between the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim and the Chicago White Sox. White Sox baseball is next. Play ball. In now, Travis Jankowski. He'll lead things off here in the Living bottom half of the first. The, White Sox, the right fielder, Travis Jankowski. First offering on its way. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0-1. So, fellas, this Angels team entering play here tonight. They come in here hoping to make it two in a row as they broke a three-game skid with a victory last time out. Yeah, Matty, a lot of things trending in the right direction for this team. They won their last game. They scored a bunch of runs. And let's see if they continue that today. The windup and the 0 2 pitch. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. A moment here from the south side to take a look at the Pale Hose starting lineup in this one. Who stands out to you, Danny? Well, there's a lot of people hoping to see a turnaround from Yoan Mancata. Uh, he has really struggled. A struggle is a kind word. He's been terrible with runners in scoring position. He's hit under 200 in those situations this season. And when that's the case, you start to think that maybe it's in his head. I think he's putting too much pressure on himself right now. Batting second. At the plate, the Braxton Lee. And Braxton. as you can see, he's had some troubles here in Lee. his own ballpark. That's something he'll look to improve upon in this one. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Runs one, one, one. Up. this one down. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0 and 1. Low roller, and he bare hands it. Bases are empty. One man out. Waved at and missed, and he's behind 0 and 2. Time for a look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Patrick Johnson. Yeah, Dan, we got Patrick Johnson behind the dish tonight. Fairly standard strike zone most of the time, but he's definitely a pitcher's umpire. I, I always felt like this. He, he's He'll give a little bit on the corners, both inside and outside. I think he's a fair umpire, but I would rate him more as a pitcher's umpire than a hitter's umpire. The 0-2 once more is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. The main job of the number one and two hitters is to set the middle of the order up with an opportunity to do some damage. So when you strike both of them out, you're putting yourself in a pretty good position to make it to the third. teeth of the lineup without a whole baseman, lot of stress. Jose, I'll bring you. First pitch coming. Here it is. Ball. And that misses ball, ball one. one no you want to talk about setting the tone and getting your teammates relaxed. That's exactly what this pitcher did coming in and punching tickets. First two batters of the game. That evens it up one and one. The one one. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Struck him out, so he makes quick work of him here. Three straight strikeouts, and the side is retired. Down in order go the White Sox. Still no score. So here's Daniel Ponka now. He went Leading deep in the contest the last Sox, night. The designated hitter, Daniel Ponka. He's ready. Here's the first offering. 
in there and it's 0 and 1. 0 and 1. Here's the 0 1. And another strike. Good fastball under the hands. It's 0 and 2. Man, you find yourself down 0 2 after two great executed pitches right there. Got to look for something up. Might have to tip your hat if he can stay down below the knees like that. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. Here's how the Halos are going to line up on defense. And we have to focus on one of the best players in all of our sport, Mike Trout, center fielder. Just as fun to watch him play defense as, as it is to watch him hit. This guy gets after it with his hair on fire. It's like watching a middle linebacker play center field. Next to bat will be the Cuban import, Yon Moncada. And he really pitch. thrives in the batter's box here at home. Something to keep an eye on in this one. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Now a ball lined toward the alley in left center. And that's into the gap and should be extra bases. Throw into second. Not in time. And he's in there with a double. Stepping into the box, Brian Dozier. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Baseman. Ryan Dozier. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 2. So back to back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? Normally, not a good pitching plan to throw the same hitter the same pitch three times in a row, but both of those sliders back to back were so good. I might just go ahead and try to throw another one. And this is swung on and missed his fifth strikeout already. And there are two gone in the inning. Well, his struggles continue. It's been a rough go of it at the plate with him. And watching this at bat, it's clear to me that his rhythm and timing, they're just all off. Even as a pitcher like I was, you could tell these things and exploit them. Batting seven. No left fielder. Next up is the sneaky pop of Nicky Delmonico. Ball one to start the at bat. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Two balls and no strikes to the White Sox left fielder. Well, he's got a base open to use right here, and it looks like he might not be afraid to do that by the way he's pitching him. Ready with the 2-0. 2 and 1. Boy, what a time to pull the string on him. On 2-0, there's no way anyone's thinking changeup. So if you can locate it, that's pretty much unhittable. Two balls and two, two strikes to Delmonico now. Moncada stands at second with two gone. Here's one that misses inside and the counts run full now three and two. Some pitchers fall into the trap of giving in on three and two because they don't want to walk the guy. But with the base open it's not the end of the world if you do you still need to make a quality pitch. Swing and a miss blew the fastball right by him and the inning is over. A man left for the White Sox will move to the third with no score. And that'll bring up the shortstop Tim Anderson. And as you take a look at the splits here he's actually better against right handed pitching this season.
He's ready. Here's the first offering. First pitch is a splitter for a called strike. Awfully oh, close sorry, with the slider cool. there, but it's one and one. Now the one and one pitch. One, one, Ground one. ball sent back up the middle. And this is going to scoot on through into center for a base hit leading off the inning. You know, D-Row, the old school thinking sometimes is when you're going through a bad streak like this guy, any way you can get on a little jam shot, that even though done. it wasn't pretty, maybe the this catcher. could get this guy finally get going. There. Yeah, I can't tell you how good that had to feel right there. There's moments where you slap that donut off your bat, you don't even want to walk to home plate. You're scuffling so bad. Devin Mezzarocco stands in as he can't connect here. 0-1. A runner at first with no outs here. Fouled off. One and two to the White Sox catcher. Boy, it's hard to sit on an 0-2 fastball. I think that pitch just locked him up a bit. But lucky for him, it was just a little out of the zone. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And they just can't touch him right now as this is swung on and missed. Seven punch outs now, and there's one away. Boy, he's got great stuff today, doesn't he? That's seven punch outs now here in the middle innings. He's up over one in the inning up to this point. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can change their plan of attack and start now to put the ball in play. But right, right now, field. that's just not happening. First pitch oh, on its way. That one's right down the middle for a strike with the fastball. Wow, there's a pitch right there that this guy would like to have back. Very rarely do you see a pitcher of this quality throw one right down the middle, and boy, he took that one. He'd like to have that one back and be able to take a good hack at that pitch. Oh, and two, here it is. Got him. And that's eight strikeouts now for him in the ballgame. That's back to back strikeouts now as they've been unable to advance that leadoff single into scoring position. Yeah clearly no problems working out of the stretch right now Matt. He's taking control this inning after giving up that hit. Now, now we'll it. see if he can Better finish shooter. it off strong as well. Braxton. First offering on its way. Oh. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Swing and a miss, one and one. Oh. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. I think if he executes that pitch on the corner instead of off of it, he probably gets some pretty weak contact, if anything. Hey. He jammed him pretty hard on the previous pitch, so my bet was he was going to try to cheat on the inside part, thinking it might be coming again. He's set. Here's the 2-2. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. White Sox leave one. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless. Back with Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian, as Jose Abreu is ready to start baseman, out the inning. Jose Abreu. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. Yeah, Matty, you're seeing a lot of late swings on the fastball tonight because this guy has had everything working. He has them in the proverbial rocking chair. This is foul right side. And on 0 and 2, he misses with a fastball. Now, one and two. And he 
struck him out. The tenth victim set down on strikes thus far. That's ten strikeouts for him now, and I'll tell you, he could rack up quite a few more before he's done. Still a lot of game left in this one. So the bases are empty with one man gone. Now and that that'll bring forward the, the power bat hitter. of Daniel Polka. Daniel. Polka. In there for strike one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Fastball inside, just inside. Swing and a miss, and it's a ball and two strikes here. <laughs> Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ballgame. Certainly not showing any signs of intimidation with these middle of the order guys. That's back to back K's. And the three and four guys are harmlessly back in the dugout. Ready for now another chance. Yohan Moncada. As the switch hitter will take his cuts left handed Moncada. here. And he tries to hold back on the swing, but I think it would have been ruled a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. Oh, and he's finding his groove out there now. It's 0-2. Boy, he looks strong out there on the mound this inning. He's got a chance to punch out the side in order and against the middle of the order, too. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. And it's fouled away. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. And another foul ball. Lifted down the line and left. And this will wind up a foul ball. No runs, two hits, and no errors so far for the White Sox. And wow, tough to lay off the fastball there, but it's one and two. Nope. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. These are the great matchups that happen throughout the course of a game. I don't think as a pitcher you can give in right here. He's a great hitter at the plate. He knows it. You know it. Keep executing. Maybe get him to roll something over. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. And he'll get to see another one. It'll be the 10th pitch of this at bat. Two out, nobody on. And he's got another one here. 12 punch outs now in the ballgame, and that'll end the inning. 1 2 3 go the White Sox. Through four, still tied. Nothing, nothing. Here's Brian Dozier now. They'll start things out here in the home fifth, and it's been Throw tough sledding for this lineup through the, the first basement. half of the game. Yeah, they haven't had any momentum going to the plate so far in this one, Matt. They need something to break their way and wake them up a bit. Be nice to get these fans involved at some point as well. And there's one away. Well, it's still early, but it's also worth noting that he'd be in line for the win if this keeps up as we take a look at the league leaders in games won this season. And you can see that he's had it working here in the first two months of the year, currently leading the AL in that category. Now batting, so Nicky Delmonico. He was a strikeout Nikki. victim in his first try. Del yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, one, one, one. especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. Throw on the first takes care of him. Two very quick outs to start the home fifth. So another exceptional effort for him on the mound. He's got the shutout working here, as we'll show you the league ERA leaders. And as you can see there, he currently leads the AL in that department. 
at the plate. Tim Anderson, a base hit in his now first trip. Good stop. Tim. First pitch coming. And Here it is. Day. Checks his swing, but this pitch is right there for strike one. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. Hey, this offense needs to check themselves right now. They have to find a way to get somebody on base and get this guy out of the stretch and make him a little bit uncomfortable. I mean, they're one strike away from being shut out through five. And he fouls this one off. And he's got another one. 13 strikeouts now and the inning is over. Down in order go the White Sox. They're down two to nothing. Striding into the box, Devin Mesoruko. He'll have the opportunity to kick things off as we begin the home sixth. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Good job to spoil that one away and he stays alive. Struck him out and make it 14 punch outs now in the game. So the shutout still intact here in the sixth as we check out the league leaderboard for Team ERA. And you can see that this staff currently leads the AL in that category. One out for Chicago here in the sixth. And that'll bring up Travis Jankowski next. Third baseman in tight protecting the bunt the first pitch. Swung on and missed for the first strike. I know it goes without saying, but the best pitch in baseball is getting ahead with a first pitch strike. That's why this guy's been able to stay in this game, pounding the zone. The wind up and the 0 1. Runs one, one, one. this one down. Throw not in time, and that'll go as a bunt single. Digging in once again, Braxton Lee, 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. First offering on its way. Oh, it's hit to third. Five. There's one. On to first, it's a double play. As their woes continue, the inning is over. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. The show is back on the south side after this. Now with the plate, Jose Abreu. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. And here's a foul ball just off to the right as they get ahead of him here. Nothing in two. I don't think he's going to triple up on change up right there. He seemed to have gotten a timing down on that second one. He Three. struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. What's your take on all the strikeouts we see in the game today, Dan? That was his third tonight, and it seems we're seeing that a lot more these days. Yeah, Matt, there's been a real change in philosophy as far as hitting in baseball today. A lot of guys think now that an out is an out. A strikeout is just as good as a regular out, but we're seeing strikeouts at an alarming rate in baseball right now. Now battle. The Standing in now, Daniel Polko. Daniel. As he'll take strike one on the inside corner. 
We're moving along late into this one. It's no surprise this guy continues to pitch well. Over 80% of his first pitches have been for strikes. And when you're doing that, you really put the hitters on the defensive. Behind 0-2 now. Fouled away. No runs, three hits, and no errors so far for the White Sox. Ooh, tough to lay off there, but it's called a ball one and two. Well, this is an approach we've seen him use effectively lately. Set up the inside and then get him out with pitches away. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. The one two fouled off little guessing game going on right now being late on that fastball after the change he had to be sitting off speed right there struck him out struck him out again I should say his third punch out of the game yet another strikeout for him on the mound and fellas this has been one of his favorite victims tonight. That's the third time he sent him packing. So he's got him pretty well figured out. Not that the rest of this lineup has been much better. Coming to the plate now, Johan Moncada. Now he batting. hits with two third away as they pick. continue to trail in this close game. Well, Matt, this has been a big inning on the mound. He's had to face the middle of the order, and so far he's held them at bay. Yeah, this feels like the kind of inning we'll look back on at the end of the game, even if the result of it changes dramatically here. Fastball called for strike two. And another one. Strikeout number 17 in the ball game as he keeps racking them up. One, two, three, go the White Sox. They trail things here two to nothing. So stepping in, Brian Dozier. Ooh, he got he on top of one and was a ground out victim the last time. Basement. Starting to oh, run out of time. They haven't been able to score Dozier. any runs oh, as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. Oh. And there's ball one. That one looked like it could easily have gone the other way. There's a big difference between 0 and 2 and 1 and 1. But now this next pitch probably becomes the biggest of the at-bat. A One ball, ball and two strikes. two strikes. Struck him out. 18 strikeouts for him now. Very brisk pace to the ball game thus far. 2 nothing our score as you get a look there at the line score to this point in the contest. Ready for another shot now. Nicky Delmonico. Third trip to the plate for him here. He struck out and grounded out in his first two tries. Fastball in there for a called strike. And Dan, that's a pretty good example of why he's such a great pitcher. Yeah, stuff. Stuff is obviously the important key to being dominant on the mound, but it doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't have outstanding control to go along with it. But he does, and he really spotted that pitch. The wind up and the 0 1. Now a big fastball and he's well behind it with the swing. <laughs> One out, nobody on. Strike three. 19 strikeouts for him now. Well, you can tell by their approach that they're going to go up there and try to be aggressive off this guy, but he's taking full advantage of that. He's pounding the zone with strikes, and right now we're seeing a lot of swings and misses and a lot of strikeouts and no walks either. Now at the plate, Tim Anderson. One for two on seven. his line so far in the Short game. Stop. Tim Anderson. First pitch coming. Here it is. Hey. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. Hey. There's a fastball on the inner third taken for a strike. 
don't just assume as a hitter right here he won't triple up. He's got you down 0-2, and he might really want to get inside your head if he throws the same pitch again. Got him for an even 20 strikeouts now thus far, as he's just been flat unhittable. Down in order go the White Sox. They trail it here two to nothing. Catcher Devin Mezzarocco stands in. And Dan, what's gone wrong for this lineup today? They're only three outs the away from being shut out. Never. Boy, you know, I just haven't seen a lot of fight in these at bats. Now, of course, plenty of credit goes to that pitching, but the effort on the offensive side has been pretty lethargic watching from up here in the booth, Matt. Yeah, I would imagine it feels the same from watching in the stands in this one. Behind 0 and 2 now. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. It's been a rough game for him at the plate. Couldn't get the bat off his shoulder right there, and he struck out twice before that one. So he's going to have a lot to think about when he leaves the ballpark tonight. Up Digging in at the plate is Travis Jankowski. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Second. Go on to first, and the White Sox are down to their final out now. Settling in now, Braxton Lee. He's their last shot here with two away in the ninth as they look to avoid the shutout. Yeah, Matt, they just haven't had any answer for the great pitching so far in this one. Just a tick behind for a strike. Into the corner and slicing foul. The White Sox down to their last strike. And he'll take the fastball here inside off the plate. It's one and two. Well, you don't want to get caught looking for the final out. That's a tough pitch to lay off. Impressive that he did. Now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. Throw to first here is going to be in time as the Angels have taken the first two games of this series on the road as this one is over. Wow, not only are complete games rare in this day and age of Major League Baseball, but a complete game shutout. This guy was in total command from the first inning through the ninth. Totally dominant in this one. This evening's game finishes 2-0 the final score. Los Angeles used a nice fifth inning to take the lead, and they never gave it back. Number 28 earned his ninth win of the year, and it's a dandy, a complete game, three-hit performance. Ronaldo Lopez pitched well, allowing only two earned, but ends up taking the loss. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Van.